time to summon the YouTube entertainment gods. Bah! Alright, welcome back. Last week we talked about how we set up a custom recommendation engine for one of our clients. Walked you through the really great user experience, how it all worked. At the end of that video, I promised you that I was going to do another video that shows you how to do that all on your own. Well, that is what we're going to cover next. All right, so you don't have the budget to go and do a complete custom solution. That's totally fair. Sometimes you just want to try something out and see if it's a good fit before you invest a lot of money into it. Well, today we're going to be talking about a wonderful app that's done by one of our partners called Jebit. And Jebit allows you to do custom quiz flows in order to get to a specific result. Now, I have been lucky enough to have a customer that needs this exact solution. So we partnered with Cascadia Board Company in order for them to put together a board finder. Now this company is a local Vancouver company that does paddle boards and they wanted to be able to have a quiz on their website that when someone came there that might not know what kind of paddle board they are looking for that they could be able to ask them a few questions and then direct them to a result. All right, so let's hop over to my screen and I'll show you what they put together. All right, so the first thing we wanna do is we wanna to go to the Shopify app store. And the app that we are looking for is called Jebit. Uh, the best way to find Jebit is go to the search, type in quiz and pull up the search results. You will see in the teal green here with the J, the Jebit custom product quizzes. Add that product quiz app to your site and then we can get started on walking through how to set it up. Now let's hop over to the app now that we've installed it. So the first thing I'm gonna start is I'm gonna go back to a building. Now you can start your own experience, you can go and customize it however you feel fit, or you can use one of their templates. So if I go into new experience and I use one of their templates, they've got lots of different templates in here which have all different results. What I'm gonna start on is I'm gonna start on a product matching quiz. Now I'm not gonna go through the template that is here because they have a great walkthrough. It's really easy to uh, configure it with your own products. I've gone and made my own specific one um, with custom imagery and stuff like that. So let's go into the one that I've created so that you guys can see exactly how this whole thing starts off. The way that this thing works is it works in different slides. So each slide has a question on it. And each question has a number value which is weighted to give you a result. So it has questions and then it has outcomes. So when we start off, the first thing we want to do is we want to create all of our questions. So if we go into the first question that we have here, we have our um, our splash page, if you will. If you remember back on the internet when it first started in the 1990s, everybody put up a splash page that said, welcome to my website. And then they went in. Uh, we got rid of that trend pretty quickly and just started going straight to the content when we found that the conversion rate was much better when you showed somebody exactly what they needed. What we can actually do is we can actually remove the first selection. So the first selection that you go into, you just get hit with type. So we hit type. All right. So under type, we've got a couple of questions here. We have hardboard, inflatable, and happy with either. Now, depending on which question you ask, it's going to give your person or the person uh, rating it a different outcome. All right, so when you're on your first slide, the first thing you want to do is you want to pick a nice cover image. So if you have a look at uh, the Jebit app down at the bottom, you have three different options. You have your background color, you have your upload image. So this is going to allow you to upload an image to a library. Um, which you can select from pre-uploaded stuff, or you can upload a new image. Um, they do give you connections to Unsplash, so if you don't have any images and you want to put something in there, you can just go and grab that directly and, and, and plug it straight in. Um, the next option you have is image transparency, so if you want to change how transparent the quiz is, um, this is not something that I typically um, utilize. I would say just keep it um, at 0% uh, opacity, but if you have a design aesthetic that you're looking for that option is available for you and then finally you have the add button now every button that you add is going to add another call or another row in the outcomes at the end which we'll go over in a moment but just keep in mind the simpler you make the questionnaire the easier it is going to be to match it to your products all right so that's how you set up a slide now you can duplicate a slide by copying screen or you can delete a slide if you no longer need it so once we've gone through and filled out all of the information now i'm not going to bore you with going and filling it out but it's as simple as 
pick a style. We have we have broken our, our our specific quiz up into type, lifestyle, experience, finishing, and payload. And each into one of those asks a different question. All right. So now if we head over to outcome logic, we can start setting up the logic for this particular question. Now, as you see, um, you need to match your answers to the outcomes on the right-hand side. Now, what I would recommend before you go and set up your outcome logic, you wanna go and set your outcomes. So what, what the system will automatically do is it's going to automatically generate out outcomes based on the number of questions that you ask. The more questions, the more outcomes you have. So it automatically creates the structure that you're gonna need in order to map your questions to the correct um, item. So for the sake of this demo, I'm not gonna go through the complexity of uh, mapping every button to every single um, every single product because that's really custom and that's really up to you. What I am gonna do is I am gonna go into outcomes and I am going to set the value under each outcome for the first um, item so that when we go through the demo, it's actually going to take us to the correct place. So basically the best way to think about this is every button that somebody presses puts a vote towards one or the different products. So you can heavily weight the votes. So say for example, if they're picking a hardboard, you might say that's actually more of a guiding principle than whether they say if I'm just happy with either. So, you know, if they say two, if they say they want a hardboard, it's most likely gonna move them towards a white cap. If they say that they want an inflatable, it's gonna move them more towards the beacon. Um, and if they're happy with either, you're more likely going to put them over into the Catula. Now, if you think about it as casting a vote every time you answer a question, what the system will do is it will add up the total number of votes that you have um, placed and then it will match you with your outcome. Um, and the, the outcomes are set by uh, the values. So uh, the more values that you have placed, the more likely they're going to get recommended the specific product that you're looking for. Now, one additional thing to keep in mind is you can use positive values and you can use negative values. So if you are doing a question that might actually take away from the likelihood of them wanting that specific product, then you can put in a negative two or a negative one and it will move them down in their product match. I'm going to just quickly set these so that when I go through the demo, um, I'm only going to hit the first answer to every question. And when I go through that demo, it should result us in us coming to the beacon board. So um, on the right hand side, you have a couple of different ways to preview your app. Because I haven't published this, I only have two options. So I have preview uh, desktop uh, desktop draft preview and mobile draft preview. If I decide to go and publish this quiz, I'm one going to get a copy of the link and we can go and we can embed this link on our page, which I'm going to show you how to do momentarily. But more importantly, if we go back over to the edit, I'm going to now actually have four options underneath here. So you can either preview the draft or you can preview the published site. And this is an important thing to keep in keep in mind because I got lost in this a little bit wondering why my sh wondering why my uh, changes weren't showing and that was because I was I was previewing the published version not the draft version. All right, so let's go and view our quiz here now that we've gone and created it. So it comes up, I decided to go on the desktop because well, we're we're experimenting this on the desktop. So let's go hardboard. We're going to only pick Remember, we're only gonna pick the item number one. And as we can see, it takes us to the beacon um, uh, board. Now, one of the great things about using a quiz, and this is really important, is that it allows you to capture the person's information um, so that you can remarket back to them. And as I've said many times, the money is always in the email list. So you want to be capturing your emails as quickly and as easily as possible. So I'm gonna go and fill in my information here. All right, once I've filled in the information, I hit submit and it will redirect me 
to the correct product that I was looking for. Now, the other great thing with this is now you can take that email address that they have signed up for and you can put them in a drip campaign so that you can remind them, hey, you did a quiz on this on this board a couple weeks ago. Uh, are you still interested in it? Maybe you have a special that's going off uh, and you can recapture them with a 10% discount code. There's a lot of really great things that you can do after the fact because you've captured their email. And not only that, but it gives the customer a great user experience. It gives them a really nice way to find a product that is a match for them. All right, that's product recommendation. That's how you do it, super easy and super quickly. Like I said, I recommend you guys check out Jebit. I've left a link down below so you guys can go and, and try it out for, for yourself. Or you can go to the Shopify app store, type in quiz and pick the J with the teal background. All right, that's it for me tonight. Don't forget to like and subscribe to this video. If you enjoyed this video and you wanna share it with your friends, please be free to do so. And I hope you're having yourself a wonderful day.